everyone. So we watch. are here. And it's a Sunday morning and we just got Dunkin's. And Sipping on Dunkin' Ice. <laughs> we are about Please to go to... Right. Give me yours for just like a minute. Down. <laughs> it's in the middle. Oh my God. <laughs> We're about to go to a That's strawberry good. festival you uh, in the North Shore, uh, but I've been sick lately, so that's why. I why do you complain to the viewers? No, stop! <laughs> you guys are being annoying. That's why I don't want to vlog today. If you're gonna be annoying, I'm not gonna be annoying. Really, you just are annoying. <laughs> um, so that's why I've been kind of MIA. But it's okay. You have sympathy in me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, we're gonna leave now. <laughs> I hate both of them. Once again. You love him? No, I love him. I thought you said muffin. <laughs> muffin? That's muffin. This is my muffin. Alright, he's here. Can right, you get through the little slit? I could. Hello. So nice here. Alright, so we made it to the farm. This is where we come to pink pick berries <laughs> this is pink berry um we put in the clip in the last video i think of uh big daryl so you got to see him again featuring but we came here a little while ago to pick strawberries and today is a strawberry festival oh the whipped cream is so got our strawberry shortcake it's good it's really good yum this is the, the little store Sing along. How's it going? Yeah. We sleepy, we awake. Liz is sleepy. The picking for all the berries is over there and you can see there's um, like hay rides going on. But we usually come here to do um, blueberry picking, raspberry picking, and then we came to do strawberry picking the other day. Oh, look, you can probably see, are these ponies, guys? Look at them. <laughs> There they are. Pony. Wait, they look like donkeys. All right, so we just came to Woodman's in Essex, which is right down the street. <laughs> right down the street from where the beach is that we always go to and the field where we were just at the strawberry festival. Um, and Ari's gonna grab some lunch. I'm gonna grab an ice cold water, which will be amazing. So Ari went to get some food, we're sipping some waters with this beautiful view of the marsh and there's all these people stand up paddle boarding. It looks, doesn't it look so like relaxing? We've done it before but when we did it we were in the ocean and it was a little bit stressful. <laughs> while while later now and we have just been relaxing we're home uh we're about to eat lobsters with our mom for dinner and liz is just hanging out reading louise how do you say this? is it tomlinson i don't say tomlinson i never say it because i never know how to say it just an article about him and we're gonna eat lobsters. And are we gonna eat outside? Do you think? No, it's not raining. It was raining earlier, but it's looking pretty good outside. It's kind of chilly, actually, which is crazy because it's been so hot the last week. Um, I haven't been vlogging, obviously. I was sick, but luckily we got our ACs all in because it was so hot. 
How's it going? Yeah? Hi. You, what's that? This is my picture. I'm at Denise Barber. Oh, I thought you meant the big, huge bowl. I did. She took that and then she brought it back. You got the lobsters? That's them? Yeah. So there are four of them. Ow. They could be small. I don't know for sure. Okay. Are they cooked? Yeah. Get a little crate ready. A trash bag. <laughs> so you guys got everything ready? The bowls and all? I think Liz emptied the dishwasher. Yeah, the girl is. How's it going? You dressed to match it? Yep. Wearing a twin tonight. <laughs> what, is, what shirt is that? Freshman mentor. I don't think I got a uh, t-shirt to be a freshman mentor. Didn't you not get in? Shut up. <laughs> no, the first year I didn't get in, and then the second year when I was a senior, I applied. Remember, Everybody I was yours. I know, but I was your freshman mentor. I know you were. Yeah, I know. Everybody gets in, but I didn't get in the freshman year. I mean, sophomore year. I mean, junior Ooh. year. Damn it. Got our our extra one. We need a big Some bowl lems. To put oh yeah, mom. Should we get a big bowl? Okay. Okay. later we ate dinner um this is like super exposed but whatever uh we ate dinner and i took a bath washed my hair <sighs> oh you already saw that i took a bath what is happening to me haven't vlogged in a while but i wanted to show you guys something exciting since i probably didn't really film much today um and I haven't been feeling great. Yes, I realize that my skin is so unbelievably dry. It is disgusting. But I wanted to show you guys something that I got in the mail recently that's really exciting. It's actually a recent Lush, Lush kitchen order, um, which I was planning on filming a like separate video for. But honestly, I want to be using this stuff like now and feeling a bit impatient and also not really feeling great enough to like clean my room, sit down, film a video, like, separately and whatnot. So, that's just kind of an excuse, but I figured I'd just add it into this video anyways. I've already, like, half emptied, like, all these packing peanuts because there were honestly so many. This is not mine. That's something for somebody else. And so is this. So, here's what we've got. Um, it did come with our little guide to everything that I've bought. It came with a Polaroid of the one uh, product that I bought that was like the exclusive for the day. So this was the running to the embassy um, foot scrub, which I'll show you guys in a second. I actually did use it tonight, so I can give you a little bit of a review too. And that's the guy who made it. His name is Aaron. Pretty cool. And that's when it was made. So, so everything else that I have in here is all the stuff that I ordered. So let's start first, I guess, with this guy that's just sitting here. So these are mouthwash tablets. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. Yes, I did buy two of them and I will explain. So mouthwash tablets are currently only available in the UK. I have tried them because my boss um, brought some over when she, I think it's just the birds, uh, brought some over when she was in <laughs> Sorry, that is the birds. Okay, yeah, I didn't know what that noise was. But regardless, whatever. I got to try these like months ago and I've really, really loved them. Um, they're really similar to the toothpaste tablets if you've ever tried those from Lush before. But these ones instead are mouthwash. So they do have, I want to say, three different kinds. I know that one of them is more of like a salt water um, 
kind of like a salty base to it. I don't remember. And then the other one I cannot remember for the life of me, but this is called Creme de Menthe, which probably I'm not even saying with any sort of an accent at all. But this is more of like a peppermint, like traditional mouthwash. Um, it has... Still has the baking soda, citric acid, so that's what makes it like kind of fizz and everything. Has menthol crystals, peppermint, peppermint powder, or peppermint oil, and powder. It's really cool. I really do like these. Um, and I knew that I liked them, so I bought two because I know I'll use them. And Liz tried one the other day, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, this is so minty," but it is really good. I really do like it. It's good for traveling too. Like you can just bring this with you instead of like liquid mouthwash and. You're good to go. So I'll probably keep one for travel and then keep the other one to use at home. So that's pretty cool. So the next thing that I bought, I also have never tried. Well, this one I actually haven't tried before, but the mouthwash tablets I have. This is called the Sunblock. So it's a solid sunscreen wash. Um, this is actually a pretty good size to try something. This is the only size that it comes in, I think. But I was worried that I would have like too much and then I didn't know if I would like it or not. But it's SPF 30. Uh, in the UK right now, or I mean in the US, I'm sorry, they don't make um, anything that has SPF in it. I do have to kind of look into the reason why behind that, but the US, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? The UK does do sunscreen. So this is like a sunscreen wash that you use in the shower. Um, for ingredients, okay, so let's see how to use. So it says, break off a third of the bar, glide over the skin, in the bath or shower and rinse off excess and lightly towel yourself dry. This guy has cocoa butter in it, calamine powder, sesame oil, chamomile blue, rose, and eucalyptus? Yeah, eucalyptus. Pretty cool. I do know that sesame oil is a really natural way to use, um, like a sunscreen. Sorry, I was just looking for, I do have another sunscreen that I bought from Lush before online in the UK, but I think it's in my beach bag, so I don't think I have it in here. So... I've got four more items left, and this looks super bizarre, I understand that, but this is actually deodorant. This is the Sunflower deodorant, which I have never tried before. They write out all the naked products because they don't come in packaging. So, this is the Sunflower deodorant. Um, you just roll it on like regular deodorant. It's self-preserving. This one's also vegan. In case any of you are wondering, and the ingredients that come in here are witch hazel, um, it has orange juice in it, has some lemon oil, orange oil. So that's, that one's going to be really cool to try, especially for the summer when it's like really citrusy. Um, this is also a really big size. I wasn't expecting to get this big. Also, it's kind of melted a little bit when it came in the mail. That day was so hot. The next thing that I bought is a yellow submarine bath bomb, which is pretty cool. They don't have this in the US, so I'm really excited to try that. Not all of these products were kitchen exclusive, by the way. The Although the sunflower deodorant I went to look up yesterday, and it already isn't online anymore, so I guess that was a kitchen exclusive, and I got it like right in time, which is pretty cool. This is a soap that I got called Milky Bath. Milky Bar, sorry. Milky Bar Soap. They do have Milky Bath, um, which looks exactly like this, but it's actually a bubble bar. I love this scent. It's so clean, so fresh. Um, I am obsessed with it. It's like cocoa butter and it just, it smells amazing. But this, this is the soap version of it and I'm so excited because the bath, the uh, bubble bar is like my favorite thing. Um, unfortunately I can't really smell right now so this is not the best time to have Lush stuff coming in the mail. Last but not least, I bought a piece of the Rose Argan Gourmet Soap. So it does look a little bit wonky. That's because the day that it came, like I said, it was so hot. It is supposed to have all of these um, dried flowers on it, but this smells like rose argan, like rose argan um, body conditioner, like the rose jam shower gel. Seriously, one of my favorite Lush scents ever. I am so excited about the soap. I've heard so many good things about it online. Um, that and the olive... There was like a new olive gourmet soap too that came out that um, isn't going to be there for too long. So I'm really, really excited to try both of those things. And that's all I got. Uh, a couple other things were in the order, but they're for other people. We made like a joint order. So yeah, I'll update you guys on like what I've been liking too. I'll probably hopefully make a favorites video. I know I've been saying that literally every single month. One of them I did film. 
I made a list for the other month and I just totally dropped the ball on it. So I really hope in June I can do that too. And I need to go charge this battery so I can finish the vlog later. All right, it is hours later. Uh, I say this all the time, but <laughs> um, yeah, we really just didn't do anything for the rest of the night. Liz and I watched Riverdale. We started watching that, which is actually really, really good. I'm so excited to keep watching that. Um, I just used one of these guys and I loved it. Um, also totally forgot to show you guys the, um, new foot scrub that I got when I was going through my Lush kitchen order because I had left this in the bathroom, but this is, I did a really, really crappy job wrapping this up, but this is the, um, running to the embassy foot scrub and this has in it cocoa butter, fine sea salt, pumice powder, shea butter, spearmint oil, peppermint oil, um, yeah, and I really like it, and I'll show it to you guys right now. It does look like a little bit worn down because I did use it today, but not that I can really smell much, but for the brief moments that I could smell, I did smell peppermint, and I really did like it. But, yeah, so I have to wrap that back up. But I'm just going to get ready for bed now, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry if it was like a weird vlog because I really haven't been vlogging lately kind of getting back into the swing of things now that I've been feeling better. But thank you for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below um, if you haven't already. That way you can check out more videos and get alerted when I do upload again, which will be really cool and hopefully really soon. <laughs> but thanks guys. Have a great day and night. Bye.